With a successful lead capture page, you can skyrocket your email list and transform interested website visitors into leads and paying customers. You might think making this type of page is difficult without hiring a developer, but with the right tools, it's surprisingly easy. So you may be asking yourself, what is a lead capture page exactly? These are a type of website landing page that usually includes an optimized opt-in form. This opt-in form allows you to collect the email addresses of your website visitors in exchange for an offer. Stick around to the end of the video and I will share with you seven elements that every great lead capture page should have. So let's go ahead right now and actually create a lead capture page in WordPress. We'll be using Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress with over 1 million users. Seedprod has a drag and drop page editor that makes creating pages quick and easy for everyone. Please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and to learn how Seedprod can help create amazing landing pages for you. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over to your WordPress dashboard and we want to install a plugin called Seedprod. So we're going to use the pro license for Seedprod. So come over to seedprod.com or, or click the link in the description and you'll see an orange button here to get Seedprod and sign up and grab a pro license. And after you have an account, we're gonna click on login. And let's go ahead and enter your email address, password that you created and click the login button to login. Here you'll see your Seedprod dashboard and we wanna click on the downloads tab right here and then you'll see a big orange button to download the plugin. We also need the license key so you can click the icon here to copy that and we can close this window. We don't need this any longer. Next, let's come over to plugins and add new and upload plugin. And then we can drag the zip file into the choose file section here or you can click that and browse to the zip file that you downloaded. Let's click install now and then let's click on activate plugin. On the left hand side, you'll see Seedprod in the menu now. First thing we want to do though is enter our license key, so you can paste that in here and click verify key. If everything went well, you should see a green success message up here. Now you can click down here to create your first page, or on the left hand side you can click on pages. And here you'll see different modes that Seedprod offers, and you can check out the YouTube channel for different tutorials on these. We're going to be creating the lead capture page, so create new landing page. And Seedprod's going to ask you to choose a new page template. Now you don't have to, you can pick a blank template and create your page from scratch. And we can also filter by type, so we're going to be looking at the lead squeeze. And we have all of these templates that we can choose from. These are all professionally designed and mobile friendly. So let's click on lead squeeze and then we want to select one of these. So you can preview these by hitting the magnifying glass and here's the desktop version. We have the mobile version as well. So we can close this and I'm going to go ahead and select this one by hitting the check mark and we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call this lead capture but you can call it whatever you wish and save and start editing the page. Now immediately we can see the visual drag and drop editor of seed prod. So on the left hand side we have our blocks standard and advanced blocks. So we have headlines and video and images and buttons and in the advanced we have giveaways, opt-in forms, social profiles, countdowns, lots of different options here to play with. And to add a block to your page we just simply drag one over here and you can see it ends up on the page here. Now you can see that when I hover over these different sections that there's different lines that go around them and so those are for the section or the row or the columns or the or the block itself and when you hover over you'll see these little icons above here so this one is to move so i can move the block around if i wish the second one is the block setting so if i click on this it'll actually update the left hand side and it'll change based on what block it is so for example this is a headline but if i select say the opt-in form here you can see that those options change here, the settings. The third one here is to save the block. So you can change the design of the block. And if you like it and you're going to be using it in multiple places, you can save that specific version of the block. And to get back to the blocks, we can click this icon up here and scroll to the bottom. And you can see that the save blocks would be saved down here. That's where you would find them. The fourth icon here is the duplicate block. So if I click here, that'll make a copy of it. And the last one is to delete it. So I'm just going to delete both of these. So the first thing we want to do is add our content and your branding into the page. So if you have a logo you could click here add your logo into the image section here so you can delete this choose your own image you could just upload it or select it from your media library if it's already in here and then that would change your logo here we also have a menu or if we wish we could actually just get rid of this whole section so because we're trying to capture a lead or their email address specifically, I just got rid of the navigation just so they're focused on this one specific page. And we just give them one goal here and that's to sign up. So to edit our header, we just click the block setting on the header here. And we can see that the text is on the left side in our little text editor here. So we could change this to whatever is related to the product or the offer that we're giving people. And if we come down, we can align this left, center, or right. You have lots of options here for different layouts. And the font size, we can make it smaller, or we could make that a little bit bigger. And then the level, so these are your headings for the structure in the HTML. And then we would just continue to go down the page and update the text however you wish. So I'll click on the opt-in form here, and then the submit button. And instead of send me the plan, I'll say send me the secrets. 
And some blocks you might notice we have some tabs here. Now, not all blocks, but a lot of them have templates as well. So if I click on templates, these are pre-made style that Seedprod offers. So if I click here, you can see that this updates the look of it. So there's different borders, gray, white, wide borders, light input. So I kind of like the darker one there. So I'm going to keep that one for now. And if we continue on down the page, we can see that we have a testimonial here. So we can click here, we can update the picture. We can change the image size, the alignment of it, and then the actual text of the testimonial itself and the person's name, all easy to update. Now, let's say you wanted to add a video. We have a standard video block here. So we could add that in here and click the block settings. And you can select a YouTube video or you can add some custom video code. So if it's YouTube, you just post the URL to that video. And then here's your width of it that you wanna select. If you don't have a video, you may wanna add an image. So it's the same type of idea. We have an image here. We can drag that over. Just select this and you can pick an image so you can upload it the same way as your logo earlier. So you can upload one or pick one from your media file. However, Seabred also offers stock images. So you can click here and do a search for whatever your product is or, or something that's related to it. So I mentioned YouTube. So I was just looking for something that's kind of related to YouTube. So we have the logo here or we have an image there. I'm just gonna get rid of this and we can pretend that this is a video about my YouTube secrets ebook that people can download. So I'm gonna leave the video here and I think the page looks pretty good. Now we're just gonna edit the design a little bit. So this background image doesn't make much sense. So let's click on that. And again, it's just another image here. So we have a background image. We can delete that and replace this with a solid background color or a gradient as well. So one color that goes to another. So if we pick solid, we can pick maybe something that makes sense for YouTube. So we could put a big red one there. If you want, you could use, again, a stock image here. So I could say maybe red background, and we could see what comes back. We would want something kind of a little bit more wide than high. And if they don't make sense, you can come to the bottom and click next, and there's more options there. So I didn't really like all those, so I'm going to just keep the red color here, maybe just a little bit darker instead. Now you can notice that the colors don't make total sense with, for example, the button. So you can click on each block and change the color. So you can go to advanced. And then there's a color option here, so I could change that to whatever. And the same thing with the button here. The orange doesn't really make sense here. So what we're going to look at our global settings. So if we go to the bottom left here, you can click. And we have global settings for fonts, colors, background, and CSS. So the custom CSS, if you know how to code CSS, you can type that in here. And our fonts up top, we can click and we can set the header font or the body font. So if I just pick a random one, you can see that this will update the font on the right side. And the, the body text here, again, we'll just pick another random one. And you can see the, how that updates. Now that doesn't look very good to me. So we can click on font themes and Seabred comes with some pre-arranged fonts that you can select. So if you find one that you like, you can go ahead and click on it and you can see that that updates immediately and that looks much better. The same goes for your color schemes. So you can click here and now you can see that that orange is actually pulled from the buttons here. So you can go through your header, text, button, link, and background, and you can change each specific one. So you can see that that's updating there on the right side. Or if you like, you can click on color palettes and select one of the predefined color palettes that we have here that come with Seedprod. So maybe something that's in the red family here, and that's a little bit more pink than I like. So we could select them and then just modify it a little bit so that it makes a little bit more sense. So there we go, we can see our button has updated. Now, of course, if you wanted to add any other blocks, you could just simply drag over whatever you wish. So maybe you would want a the star rating. We could bring that over and maybe pop that in here. So each testimony might have their own ranking. So we also have some social profiles and social sharing. So we could add another row here and then we could just drag these over. And then you can see that those are added. If you click the block settings, you can, of course, add more social networks. And now let's say you made a mistake and you don't like it. You could delete this or you could hit the undo button. There's a redo as well if you need it. So let's undo and keep going back. And you can see that that has removed everything that we did. Now there's also a mobile preview. So if we click this, we can see that the page will look good on mobile. And then we can switch back. At the top, if you want to connect your opt-in form to a third-party email marketing service, you can click on connect. And we have a lot of the popular email marketing services. So for example, if you want to connect your opt-in form to submit emails to Constant Contact, you create a, an account with them on their website. And you log into your account and you're going to grab an API key. And then we're going to click connect, connect new account. And you're going to paste that API key in here. If you need help getting the API key, check out their documentation or contact their support. It's usually easy to get. You can provide an, a simple 
optional name and you can click connect and you're all set to go. And then the last tab here is page settings. So you could add in your page title, which we already did at the beginning, but you can change it here and the page URL. You could publish this or you can use the drop down here to publish as well. You can add a seed prod link that shows powered by seed prod at the bottom to support seed prod. And if you like, you can join our affiliate program and get a 20% commission. You can enable isolation mode, which helps prevent conflicts with your theme and other plugins. And on the left, we have SEO, which we recommend all-in-one SEO plugin, which is the number one WordPress plugin for search engine optimization. And the same goes for analytics with Monster Insights, a great plugin for analytics. If for some reason you need to paste or code some scripts for your header, body, or footer, you can do that on this tab here. And lastly, we do have the custom domain. So you can map your URL to a specific domain. So if you had my new domain, instead of going to your full URL here, you could map that to a specific domain that redirects to this page. Check out the documentation on cprod.com to find out more about that. I'm going to go ahead and save this and we can now publish this and see the live page. And there we go. Here is our lead capture page that we created quickly and easily with cprod. As a bonus, I will share with you seven elements that every great lead capture page should have. Number one are headlines. Use an attention grabbing headline to encourage users to stay on your page. The best approach is to use your unique selling point in your headline. Number two are call to action buttons. Your call to action button color should contrast with your page. You should also personalize the button copy to make it more actionable. For instance, use send me my ebook instead of download ebook. Number three are lead capture forms. Your lead capture form should only include form fields for the information you need. It should also be easy to navigate. Number four are images. Use eye-catching photography of your offer or custom graphics. If you're offering an ebook, use a photo of the book or a headshot if you're promoting a webinar. Number five is copy. This is the text on your page. Your landing page copy should clearly explain your offer. Consider teasing the information bit by bit to encourage users to keep reading, leaving no other option but to convert. Number six are testimonials. Using positive customer reviews on your landing page helps potential customers see your product or services value. And lastly, number seven, are trust seals. Trust seals are ideal for using on e-commerce lead capture pages. For example, PayPal and SSL logos are both trust seals. They work by reassuring visitors that their payment information will be kept secure. I hope this video helped you understand what a lead capture page is and how you can create your own using SeedProd and our professionally designed templates. Now that you have a lead capture page, it might be a great idea to create a custom thank you page to display after a visitor submits their email. Check out this video I made on how to make a thank you page in WordPress. It'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to use SeedProd to create great looking thank you pages so you can try an upsell visitor on more offers or direct them to other products or services they may be interested in. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.